welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. In today's episode, we're going to be trying out some products that seem kind of gross. But who knows, maybe they really work? Let's find out. So this is like a little bit of a weird mouthwash. It's very popular in Japan and it has the ability to absorb and solidify the dirt that's in your mouth. So what happened was this morning I brushed my teeth and then I ate and I was like, oh my god, I'm trying to mouthwash. I need to go and brush my teeth again. So I haven't eaten anything since then. <laughs> So we'll see like, how clean my mouth is. So it comes in a travel packet. Like, you can buy them in a bottle. It's kind of like a beigey brown colour. Let me try this. Ew! Ah! So, mine's not all kind of like spread out, but there is one big giant brown mess like in the middle, which is a little gross. Just now when it was in my mouth, it was a little bit of a weird experience. It felt very foamy and bubbly inside. It wasn't the most pleasant taste or smell. It's so weird, like the aftertaste to me doesn't feel alcoholy or minty. It kind of feels like artificial sweetener aftertaste. I would give this a 9 out of 10 because I mean the taste I do think is a little bit strange. It might take a bit of getting used to. So in terms of effectiveness, it does seem quite effective. Because, I mean like, I brush my teeth, you know, and uh, there's still like so much stuff. <laughs> so I guess there's some things that you kind of like can't get rid of with your toothbrush. <laughs> so this is a peeling foot mask. Alright, let me just show you the application. There's a pair of socks in here. You're supposed to tear it apart, then you put your foot in. So inside there is like liquid stuff in here. So then what you do is you take this and then you wrap it around and then you stick it to the end. So you leave it on for an hour, then you remove this, go and wash your feet and it's gonna look normal. Absolutely normal. But then Four to six days later, it's supposed to start peeling. Okay, so I did it on my other foot about six days ago and Ta-da! This is how it looks like now. Okay, so the only parts that are peeling on my foot right now are like the top, slightly, a little bit in between my toes and like the bottom of my toe. But the rest of my foot is really not peeling at all. And it's like nothing compared to the other pictures that I've seen. I was kind of like half expecting it because the last time when I tried it, like nothing peeled at all. But this one has started to peel a little bit. So maybe my feet, it'll just take a little bit longer for my foot to react to this. So what I'm going to do is I'll track it over the next few days. Okay, so foot peel. Mine has peeled off. There is no more dead skin um, still dropping off in bits. I didn't get the giant like whole sheet of skin coming off. Mine kind of like, I saw a little bit and then the next day, eh? Where did all of it go? It kind of like fell off on its own. My feet, the skin definitely feels softer. The top part is the most obvious, I think. I would give this, in terms of effectiveness, a 10 out of 10. But would I use this again? I don't know because it's kind of... If you're in a situation where you would have to take off your shoes and stuff, Mine peeled for many days and that was slightly inconvenient because like you know you go to people's houses, you take off your shoes and you have to explain, I'm sorry I'm leaving dead skin all over your floor, <laughs> you know? I guess you can like wear socks like, but you know what I mean, it's not a huge inconvenience but it, it, I just kind of wish maybe that the peeling process was a little bit faster. But in terms of like getting rid of dead skin gently, Really, really very good. So overall, I guess I would give this like a 9 out of 10. It does what it says it will do. These are Thinks. They are period panties. It's supposed to be moisture wicking, antimicrobial absorbent, leak resistant, and also can hold up to two tampons worth of blood. Apparently, this eliminates the need for tampons, for menstrual cups, for pads, because this is supposed to take the place of all of that. And then after you're done with it, you're just supposed to like wash it off on that day and then like let it dry. It feels like there's a lot of material. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting the shape of this underwear because it said hip hugger, so I wasn't expecting like this to go like, so high up. But I, I can see why, you know, for like added security. For fabric wise, there are like three layers in this, so it does feel a bit thick. The inside feels like cotton underwear, so it does feel quite soft. The padded area is interesting because it kind of feels a bit like a plasticky kind of padding. Alright, so now I'm going to pour like 10 ml of this liquid and see how this goes. I shall... Hey? Oh no, it doesn't absorb. Okay, so this is basically like water and food colouring. So, so far we poured a bit and it kind of felt like it was just sitting on top and not absorbing. So that is all 10 ml absorbed. Like it still looks wet. Okay, so this doesn't seem like it has absorbed. If this was like a period thing, that would be very uncomfortable. 
Let's see the bottom of it, whether it's seeped through. Okay, so there's a little bit of leakage on the side, but that's kind of more from the spill than from it leaking through the middle. Like, it kind of like spilled out, so it got to the sides. So the sides are not period proof, but like the center seems to be like still okay. Blood is thicker than water, but it's, it doesn't seem to be having a really good time absorbing the water, so I'm not sure about the blood. I think it's better like if I try this. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try it on my next period cycle, and then I'll let you guys know how that goes. Hey sister, guess what? I'm wearing period underwear. Okay, so I've been wearing them for about like 7 hours now and it's still so comfortable, it's insane. Uh, like, I keep forgetting that I am on my period, which is amazing. Wah, totally changed my mind. I'm still a little bit nervous, so I've brought like pads and stuff, but no leaks, so all good for now. Cool. Overall, I really like them. I thought they were incredibly comfortable. They absorbed everything so quickly. There was no excess moisture and I used it for a good 12 hours and there was no leakage either. And at times, I just really completely forgot that I was having my period. There was a real freedom. <laughs> like, freedom. I think it's very hard to change when you're out, but I guess depending on your flow, you might not even need to. But they do recommend that you use it together <laughs> with a tampon. Okay, rating. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. 0.5 because it, it can be a little bit like scary because you can never tell <laughs> when when it's overflowing and when you do, it's a little bit, it would be too late, right? Actually, the washing up and everything doesn't even seem that bad. Like, I was rinsing out mine and it was very easy to do and you just throw it into a cold wash and then let it dry. The only thing is, I guess it's a bit of a commitment in that if you want to use it for your entire period, you would have to buy quite a few. I think at least like, like two a day, but it absorbs so fast. Um, no weird moisture feeling, no odour. Um, and the panties are like quite pretty as well. Like after you wear them, like you know, they kind of hold you in. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10. So this is a menstrual cup and this has been in my vagina because I have tried it. Okay, so this is basically like an alternative to tampons and pads. I have never used this before. It was a lot bigger than a tampon and even after I fold it up like this, it's still bigger than a tampon and then there's no applicator. I really have to like squeeze it, right? And then like push it in. But then a lot of times, I only manage to get half in for some reason. Like because you know, you try and like slide it one side first and then you push the other side in. It was a mission, okay? Let me tell you, this it took me a long time. Okay, so when it was inside, it was actually really comfortable. So the first moment when it went out, I was like, wow, I can't feel anything. Because even with like tampons, sometimes like, you know the string is like coming out or like, you know, it feels a little bit dry or I don't know what. But like, this one, I was like, my God, there's like nothing there. So I was, very, I was really very excited. After a couple of hours of wearing it, I was like, okay, I need to kind of like try how it is to take it out and empty. So I was kind of like searching around and I could feel like this tip, right? But then I couldn't get the other finger in because it was like deeper. <laughs> it was just like, I was like, oh my god, do I need to go to the hospital to take this out? It's very dramatic, okay. <sighs> Very stressful. I have to take a couple of breaks also because I was it's very tiring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's kind of like you're half in panic mode, half in like don't worry, your vagina can't eat this. And uh, the half like, oh my god, do I need to go to the hospital? Because there was this girl who like had to go to the hospital because I think like the suction became so strong that she had to go to the hospital to get it removed. So it was just, uh, it was an ordeal lah. So anyway, finally I got it out. I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, but I cannot deal with this every menstrual cycles. But the thing is, it did collect blood. And in the time that I was like, walking back and forth, taking a break and then going back, no leakage. So <laughs> that's a good thing, right? So the application was difficult in the beginning, but I imagine that if you keep doing this and you get more familiar with 
how to put it in like it will get easier. Okay, so for those people with heavy flows and who like to use tampons, apparently menstrual cups can hold more blood. Okay, so rating wise, I would give this a seven and a half because I feel like it was very comfortable. It was actually save you a lot of money in the long run. And also, like if you get the hang of it, it could be really great. But for me, <laughs> Everything is like a little bit troublesome because you know there's also like the washing and the sterilizing and the taking care of it and then like if you're out and what if you take it out and then like it spills because like it it's happened like I've googled so much so for me like in that sense it's a bit too much effort for me but I can really see how people love this and I did like it for the period of time it was there it was just really comfortable this is uh, a lip exfoliator that is supposed to foam up into lots and lots of bubbles after you leave it on for just a few seconds and it's supposed to uh, help to remove lip makeup dirt impurities and dead skin cells Ayas, I have a lot of dead skin cells on my lips. So I hope this works. So apply it and leave it on for a few seconds. After the foam goes down, take a tissue or a cotton pad and remove. So simple. It's like everywhere. Mmm, it's really ticklish. Mm-hmm. So I waited for a while until it looked like it was going not going to foam anymore, and then I removed it. Yeah, it's a weird sensation, man. Like. I just felt a lot, a lot of like little sparkly bubbles coming out on my lips. It's just like... In terms of like removing the dead skin, I feel like it's like the beginnings of removing the dead skin where like now I feel like I can see more dead skin than just now which is a bit weird. Like, you know what I mean? It's like it made the dead skin loosen up but then not enough to take out. Maybe my dead skin is just, I just got too much dead skin. I don't know but my lips feel a little bit softer. That does not taste like a lip product. Like, it's a, it smells a little bit soapy and there's a little bit of like bitterness in it, which is, which is weird. I mean, you're not supposed to eat it, but like it's seeped in because it's on my lips, right? So like apparently on some other people, like the foam is a lot. So mine was like, okay foam. I would give this a 4 out of 10. I guess in terms of like taking out that skin, maybe my skin is just very <laughs> dry and can't be removed so quickly. So maybe on people with a little bit of dead skin it would work and it's, gen it's definitely a very gentle option. I will still give this like a 4 out of 10 because I don't feel like it removed spectacularly well or anything. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, the links are in our description box. And also, what you need to do? Download the Click Network app! Because you can watch the videos one month before they go into YouTube. Okay? Alright, till next time, go be beautiful.